Yo na pot ish udbozle YouTube, this is Fan of Gaming, and today I've got another part of Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies. Now let's just get right to it. Unfortunately, I had to skip a bit because last time, the part where I cut off, they wouldn't let me save. You, you missed a short cutscene, really. The, uh, the civilians repaired our ship a little bit for us, and they added a hangar, and they extended our existing hangars so we can build bigger ships now. So let's build some bigger ships. I like this model, honestly. Let's get some lasers on them. And we'll get another one of these. More lasers. Uh, you can see this one has a medium sized tractor beam on it. It's pretty cool. And uh, that'll do it. Let's build them. We've got quite a bit of res, so we don't have to worry about any resource shortman shortages. Almost said shortments there. That'd be silly. Looks like we've got some upgrade points as well, so let's see. I think I'll spend some. I want to upgrade the reactor. And we'll upgrade engines a little bit. Alright. Oops. Oops. Silly me. Alright, let's see what's going on in the system map. Hmm. Okay, looks like we've got some random events. These seem to be passive events that there's no real goal in it, it's just kind of there. You can uh, make what you want of it. And we've got some active events, which we can go do stuff, like... Let's see, uh... Hmm. Here we go, UTA patrol. We can go attack the UTA ships. The UTA will be more mad at us, but the ships, will, the civilians will like us more. And the civilian patrol, where we can go kill the civilians to make the UTA like us more. These are all quite common, you know, every single star system you go in is going to have all these random events and they kind of like reset after a certain number of jumps. Uh, for now, I think we should go kill some UTA. We've got three ships now. We should be able to do this pretty easily. And who knows, we might even unlock a new ship type for us. Oop. I'm just not used to the controls anymore. It's so weird. It's just a really strange system, I find. There we go, got him. Alright, let's see. Uh, whoop, more ships. Oh, they got missiles, that's not too good. Oh, they got my shields out. Oh, we got their shields. Oh no, they're double teaming me. Oh, this might be bad. I've got one. Let's go grab that data. Looks like our teammates are taking care of the other one. Nope, they got him. No data? Oh, there we go. Let's get that data. Our teammates can take care of the other crappy ships. Alright, here we go. We gotta get those shields out. These are some pretty fast ships. They're small, too. It's hard to hit them. There we go. Alright, we got them. Oh, let's go pick up some goons. Oh, they stole my goons. Here we go. This is what I was hoping for. It's a tug. It's the first medium-sized haul that I'm probably going to get. Yep. Definitely want to get that black box. Looks like uh, they want me to leave the area. Guess that's a good cue that the mission's done. So we've got... We're that much closer to getting a tug now. It's a pretty useful ship compared to what we have right now. <clears throat> hmm. For now, I think I'll go to this uh, mining station. Because I want to visit the black market. Because I'm a rebel like that. The unfortunate thing about having bigger ships is that they're considerably slower, though the tug isn't that bad. I think it's faster than the ship I have right now, actually. And it's got a much larger uh, cargo bay. Alright, black market. Can't use all this stuff quite yet, but I think I'm going to buy it anyway. 
This is definitely important for me to get. And this is pretty important as well. Standard shield, we can't use it quite yet because we don't have the correct tech level, but still good to have. With the exception of this first area, I think it's random uh, what stuff each black market's gonna have, so you won't always find the same thing. Which is pretty cool. It makes you uh, explore new areas to get better stuff. So let's, uh, looks like we've got more uh, research points. It's always fun. What did we, did we get a better engine? No, we got a better shield. We're gonna upgrade shields. And we'll hold on to that other... No, we'll use the other point on armor. And let's equip some of our new stuff. Got a better shield, better reactor, better lasers. And we can equip that on all of our ships. Now, these new lasers do a lot more damage, but they have a considerably shorter range. So it's a definite trade-off, but I think it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. Alright, now we just gotta refit all the ships. And off they go. One thing I love about this game is that after you get through the tutorial, it becomes a very open-ended game, and I really love those kinds of games. Well, not open-ended, but you don't have to follow the story. You can just do whatever you want for a very long time. So let's check out the system map. I want to find another UTA patrol. Oh, it doesn't look like there's going to be one. What is this? They want me to have the beacons destroyed. I don't think I'm going to do that. I happen to know for a fact that there's going to be a tug over at this blockade which we have to clear. So let's go clear out the blockade. Warp it in. You can read that if you want. Now, once you clear a blockade, it's gone for good. You don't have to worry about it again. Which is good, because there are a lot of blockades. There's one through every system jump, I believe. Although I wouldn't know for sure, because I haven't gotten very far in the game. Uh-oh, one of our ships blew up. It's not too good. These tugs are pretty tough. They've got missiles and lasers. Oh no, my ship blew up too. I'll have to take care of this one. Alright, we got him. And we got our data. And our black box. So we can now big top build tugs. And we cleared the blockade too, so it's all good. For now, I think we'll go to the hangar and outfit our newest tug. This tug has missile slots, which I'm not particularly fond of yet because they do basically nothing against shields. But it's also got a laser slot and a turret that you can mount it on. Which is kind of interesting because the turret can rotate without you having to actually move the ship itself. So that's always pretty cool. We'll let our new ship build while we go steal some of these goons. Can't have enough goons. Alright, here we go. Look at that. And if I hold shift, my ship will not rotate, but the turret will. It's pretty slow right now, but we can upgrade it later. And I want to get some goons for this thing. It's got two tractor beams, too, so I'm not sure if that extends the range or if it lets me get more things at once. <laughs> we spaced that guy. Alright, looks like that's about all there is for us here. Let me just, uh, I want to have a full crew on this ship because it's going to be my flagship for now. Oh my goodness, it costs a lot of res to build these things. Oh well. Alright, and now we can go to the star map. You can read this if you want, just a little bit of information that I already know. And now we have a choice. We can go to the 6 world or the 7, I mean the 6 system or the 7 system. Looks like the UTA doesn't particularly dislike us in either of them. In fact, they like us over here, so I'm gonna go this way because they like... Oh, wait. Oh, silly me, I have to go here. Heh, <laughs> my bad.
Huh. Here we go. And there's our beautiful ship, the clockwork. I think. Still not sure. Let's see if it'll say it somewhere in here. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to say. Oh well. Now, the higher level you are, obviously, the closer you can get to the galactic core. But, obviously, it will become much harder. Let's take a look at the star map. You'll notice it's quite convenient. They tell you how, uh, how much stronger the area is than you are by a delightful little color code. And as we become stronger, there will be more and more green and less red and orange and stuff. But yeah, it's quite convenient. So, we've warped into this new system. And, uh, it looks like they got some res here. I'm gonna mine it for no obvious reason. So we've got our new stronger reactors. It takes a lot more for me to actually drain out my, uh, my reactor now. You can notice the little, where the mouse is pointed, that is your reactor. That's how much energy you have. The, the blue, I believe, is. But we're not using that much of it now, are we? The ship also has missiles, which I'm now shooting. If you lock on to an enemy, it will hone in on them rather nicely. But, uh, let's go to the UTA station, why not? Oh, wait, wait. Let's check out our events. Hmm. Interesting. Are they hostile, I wonder? Yeah, they're hostile. Well, let's go ahead and do the mission. Oh, yeah, there's a mission, by the way. You can read this if you want. That dude doesn't have an eye. Alright. I can't tell if this tug is a little bit faster than my other ship or not. I really can't. Oh well. You can see I got a little bunch of little drones flying about. Let's check out the black market. Ooh, good stuff. This is the next level pulse cannon. I'm not particularly fond of them as I've said before. What is this? I don't even know what this is. It's a basic engine. I'll take that. Can't buy anything else yet, though. Well, let's take the mission. <laughs> I love this. For pirate's eyes only. Alright. Contract accepted. So it looks like we have to travel to the mission location, which is over here. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, we have to eliminate some civilian ships, because we're pirates. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is alright to me. Am I right? So also, you can see our turret will uh, hone in on whoever we're locked onto as well. We don't have to rotate to catch up to them. And my ship is about to blow up, and it's a very expensive ship, so I don't want that to happen. Don't you dare judge me, but I am running away. Damn it! Alright, I'm gonna have to not use that ship for a while. I'm not too thrilled. Okay, we lost that ship too. Lasers aren't too good against armor. But, uh, what can you do? Well, I've got to go back to the warp gate now. And, uh, deposit all this res. Because we need more of those ships now. Or else we're in big trouble. I can go ahead and rebuild the second one. But, let me zoom out, see if I can find any res. No, no res. Lots of, uh, life pods, though, aren't there? Alright, you may be wondering what this is. It looks like, uh... Well, I don't know. It looks almost like a flying space brain. I guess we have to destroy it. I hope nothing bad happens. Huh. Oh no, what is that? An 
alien species. Oh god, it's shooting stuff at me. Oh no, it's coming at me now. Ah, ah no, I don't want to die. What the heck? It looks like there are a bunch of flying red people in space now. What is that? I honestly have no idea what that is. I think I need to destroy it though. Ah, I would love to have my bigger ship right now. Looks like this is a light ship, if you look in the top right. Well, it's gone now. Oh, what the heck? What is this? Huh. Okay, seriously, what the heck is that? Oh, come on, another ship? Are you serious? What is, what is that? It's shooting space zombies at us, dang it. It's attacking my ship with space zombies. Oh, I just got the title. I understand now. Okay, I'm gonna let my ship deal with that while I go get all this delicious data. Oh, looks like we're launching out Oh my god, they can fly in space? Oh god, what is this silliness? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. I've got three space zombies on my ship right now. Oh god, oh god. Okay, they're about to eat all my crew. Yeah, the ship's done for. It has no crew. Isn't that lovely? I have to go take control of the other ship. We do have enough uh, res to rebuild our main ship now, though, so that's always good. Good lord, the ships are. So oh no, 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 too many space zombies. I need to invest in more firepower. Alright, I'm taking control of the tug. Launching some missiles at him. What the? There's another ship! This is insanity. My missiles don't seem to be doing too much. Alright, tug is much more capable. Oh my, is that my infected ship? I don't really think that was. Oh god, they're infecting my ships. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, we got another one. God, they're launching space zombies in my ships, man. Alright, alright. I think we're good. Dang it, there's another one. Alright, you know what? I'm about to cut my losses. I can't cut my losses yet. Alright. I think this is going to be the last one. But this is definitely ridiculous. Alright, I think we got all of them. I don't see any dead zombies in space. We're getting out of here. We are getting right the heck out of here. I don't know where we're going, but I'm pretty sure we are free to go anywhere we want now. Let's go back to the UTA station. I would feel much safer there. Cloak detector. What? Minefields? Are you serious? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna rebuild those stupid ships now. Whew, that was intense. Let's uh, spend some of this research. We've got, uh, yeah, we'll get upgraded engines. Because now we can, you know, upgrade our engines. Oh, we can't do it yet. They're currently building. I'm going to mine some of this res, though. 
you'll notice the tug has an absolutely massive cargo bay compared to what we've had so far. Oh yeah, I should have probably also mentioned that um, this is the extent to my progress that I've made in my uh, other save game. So everything from this point on is totally new to me. I, it will be just as confusing to me as it will probably be to you. So, you know, don't feel bad if you don't follow the action because I probably won't be either. But uh, for now, I think we'll dock in this station. Check out the black market. We'll buy some armor plates. And, um, sorry to do this, but we're gonna have to end the video now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be looking forward to the next part, probably tomorrow. And, uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.